in any city, in any country. Go to any adult sex shop you can find. Walk up to the clerk and ask, in an erotic tone, to see someone who calls themselves the holder of porn. If the clerk should smile at you, run for the door as fast as you can. If you do not make it, you will be dragged to one of the establishment's private rooms, where patrons often come to view pornography. You are not to be so lucky. The TV in this room will begin showing you every depraved sexual act ever committed by man. Pray you go mad swiftly. Images of rape and sexual torture will begin to seem pleasant as the images you are shown become more depraved and grotesque. When the scenes before you finally end, and if you are unfortunate enough to retain your sanity, you will never be able to trust another human being again, as their true deprived nature has been revealed to you. However, if the clerk begins to dim the light, you have only until they are completely shut off to remove any articles of clothing that you happen to be wearing. You must do so without any hesitation or thought towards any insecurities you may harbor. Now follow the clerk to the door at the far side of the establishment. Upon entering the next room, you will be greeted by many men and women of varying races, age, and body types. Oddly, you will find all of these people attractive, completely regardless of previous sexual persuasion. These are the seekers who came before you. You must not look at any of them for more than a few moments. To do so will cause you to become overtaken with lust, and you will be trapped with them for an eternity in an orgy of human flesh. Tantalizing as that may seem to the more depraved minds, you must ignore these urges. Instead, look forward and follow the clerk, ignoring any taunts or pleas you may hear from the observers. Eventually you will reach a door, and the clerk will take his leave. When his footsteps are completely out of earshot, close your eyes and enter the door. When your feet hit solid ground, you may let go of the door and open your eyes once more. The first thing you will notice about this room is the decor. Typical 70s, with the heart-shaped bed in the middle being the apparent centerpiece of the room. You are free to look around as long as you wish, but do not sit or lay down on the bed. To do so is to invite your own death. After what may be a few minutes, or hours, you will feel a sharp pain in your thigh, swiftly followed by the oozing of blood from the flesh wound. Do not react, and do not look down. Instead, wait for a female voice to speak from the center of the room. The woman now laying on the bed seems to be middle-aged, and though she is past her prime, she is undeniably beautiful. The robe that barely covers her body reveals soft, smooth skin and curves that would make even much younger women jealous. She will sit up after a few moments, offering you a robe as she does so. Do not respond to this. Simply ask the question, Do they feel lust? As she begins her long, detailed description of her incarceration, she will turn her back to you, removing her robe. It is then, while she is still speaking, that you will see the scars riddling her back. It is clear to you that these were caused by hard lashes from a whip. They are very closely linked to the story she is telling you. As she falls silent, she will hand her robe to you, smiling rarely. Suddenly, you will find yourself outside the front of the shop, 
still completely nude and clutching to the robe. There are no people around, but you best put it on. As you remark inwardly of how snugly the robe fits, almost as if it was actually tailored to you, you notice the wound on your leg begin to heal, and then finally scar over. The robe is item 53 of 538. Use it wisely. <laughs>